Hello friends, Jeff here from House of Heresy, back again with box two of the case that we are in the process of opening here. So, without further ado, let's get this box opened and get to cracking some packs. As always, this has been an exciting set, definitely the highlight of the year for me so far when it comes to magic releases. Probably the, uh, the highlight since um, Modern Horizons 2 last year. I mean, there's been some nice stuff, but nothing that can compare to this. So it's been exciting to actually be able to participate. And then uh, also this is my first time really producing content. So it kind of started right before the set launched, because I knew I was going to be doing these, or opening some boxes, so I figured why not share. All right, so let's skip through the usual stuff and get to some of the borderless. All right, so we got a Thought Scour, Animal Drifter, Coiling Oracle, Selesnia Sanctuary, and our first rare will be Green Sun Zenith. All right, very nice. Not gonna complain about that. All right, actually put these down here a little bit. So, so far we have not pulled a um, uh, what's it called? Uh, we've not pulled a textured foil yet from the case. This is only box number two in the case, so hopefully we will get one. We have pulled a textured foil, it just didn't come out of this case. Forbidden Orchard, very nice. I have not pulled this one yet. I really like that. Nice pastel looking art there. Got some angry birdies or something like that. Dinosaurs, maybe. Very cool. All right. Etch foil will be Disciple of the Ring. Interesting. I haven't pulled this one yet. I know it's not the most exciting, but it is nice looking art. She looks pretty pissed. And the last one is Grim Flayer. All right, have a few of him. So he's probably going to be one of the more bulk uh, borderless cards, rares at least, from what I've seen. A lot of people have been pulling him. All right, pack two of box two of the case. What are we going to pull? Alright, we'll start with the Flicker Wisp. Awesome art. Stuff nightmares are made of. Is it Boy Works? Very cool. We got another Thought Scour, this time in foil. Azorius Chancery. Very cool. First one's going to be rare for the pack foil. Joda, Archmage of Eternal. I'm actually kind of looking at him as a potential commander, so I'm glad we pulled him. Ooh, very nice. I have not yet pulled this card. Thousand Year Storm. That is just such gorgeous artwork. I love it. I would love to play this, even if it's whether it's great or not, or if it's my deck or not, just so I could look at it as it's sitting there doing all its enchantment things. All right, we got a rare and guided passage for the foil etch. Not pulled that in the foil etch yet. I believe I've got this as the uh, pack rare slot. And ooh, we got a mythic. We have a mythic. Mana Vault in the foil. Nice. Very nice. I pulled two non foil so far. So this is uh this is awesome. Such a beautiful card. I mean this there's, there's been some very nice mana vaults produced over the years. Really, really like the um the one from Ultimate Masters, the box topper there. And then Particularly enjoy the um, the one from Kaladesh, of course. That was just very expensive, so do not have it. All right, so that was our first mythic, also, which is nice. So one mythic so far. Halfway through. Overall, outside of the mana vault, nothing super exciting about this box so far. But it does seem like the uh, the, when you're talking about the cases, there's definitely a box or two that is just kind of not that great. And then they seem to have some pretty good ones otherwise. All right, we got a Kozali Pride Mage, only my second after all these openings. So that's impressive considering how many other people have pulled like entire play sets of them. Spell Pierce in the foil, very nice. Terminate in the foil, again, one of my favorite arts from the common uncommon area there. First rare is Phyrexian Altar, very nice. That looks beautiful in the foil. So nice. That was a great pull. The, uh, like I, I think I said in my last video, the, um, let's put that in the next spot. 
this uh, the pack foil slot I don't have a lot of high hopes for. I just expect to get bad things in there. So when we do get nice things, it's uh, it's a bonus. All right, and the last card, or oh, I'm sorry, that is not the last card. So used to looking at the uh, the foil list there. So un. Foiled City of Brass. That's nice. I haven't actually pulled one of these yet. So this will be the one that goes in the Borderless Cube. Great pull. We have a Grim Flare. All right. Working on that play set. And the last one in the pack, Rare Hardened Scales. Nice. I haven't actually pulled this yet. At least not for the uh, the, the Borderless. And Borderless Foil, no less. That is gorgeous. So nice. I just can't. I know I talk about it in just about every video, but they just do such a nice, or they did such a nice job with the art in the set. Just beautiful. All right, last pack of the box. Let's see what we get here. We've already, oops, that is not a mythic. All right, we've already, we've got some pretty decent pulls. I wouldn't say by any stretch we're hitting home runs. The case so far has been kind of what I would call more on the average side. Ooh, that's nice. Haven't pulled that yet. Beautiful. Very nice. But by no means is it a disaster. Um, we're definitely getting some nice stuff, so not going to complain one bit. The Great Rob Farm. Inquisition of Kozilek. I don't think I've actually pulled this in the foil yet, so that's really nice. Really good art. Blood Artist. Very cool. Again, great alternate job there. All right, first rare, Phyrexian Tyranny. Okay, not the most exciting. Next, we'll have another rare, Panharmonicon. Very cool. Love this card. It is absolutely integral to my Grudit Commander deck. Oop, we got a Mythic in the etched foil slot. It is, all right, probably one of the least exciting myth Mythics, but it is kind of cool looking art, so that's Goblin Wizards for you. They just kind of sneak out and... Two strange things. And the last card in the box is a rare Bloom Tender in the foil. Very nice. I think I've only pulled a non-foil one. They really have done a great job with the foil treatments in this set. It's, it just feels like they all, it, the, the foil complements what's going on in the card, like with the art, more so than uh, what it, they've done in the past. Uh, past iterations there. I mean, you look at it, like there's some parts that just don't even look foiled, like the tree, the tree trunk there going up, and then everything else, like the water coming down, and they just did such a nice job. Really high quality, very high quality. All right, so that was box two of our uh, case. Uh, big hits. We had the two mythics. One not particularly great. One was awesome. Always be happy with the mana vault. Uh, hardened scales, bloom tender in the uh, in the foil borderless. And then we got city of brass, panharmonicon. Actually, we got we got some cards that I need to. Um, I don't have forbidden orchard, thousand year storm, or city of brass in the non uh, the non foil yet. So that was great. Definitely help with the borderless cube. So that does it. I appreciate everybody sticking around watching. If you liked what you saw, please give us a like. If you'd like to see more and want to follow us, uh, please subscribe. And as always, throw some comments down below. Let us know what your thoughts are on the set, on the state of magic, whatever you want to talk about. Happy to respond. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Have a great day.